So what, do you, what odds do you give passage of a health, uh, I mean, of a, sorry, <laughs> too many things going on, uh, of, a cap and, of a cap and trade bill this year? I think the energy legislation um, does depend on the little slippage you had, quite clearly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that <probably> also <laughs> has to pass. Um, I, I'm still very hopeful that we get actually something passed. I know the timing um, will be longer than, than what we expected maybe 12 months ago, but we will do our, um, our part in order to make sure that we get uh, something which the industry and the country actually can, can take forward. But I think we are in for um, uh, a longer period before we get something. Well, would, you, would you make a money bet on it passing this year? I, I think um, I can spend my money better somewhere else. So. <laughs> So, uh, 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 Mike Morris said last night, less than 50% chance this year. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I'm skeptical this year this as well. Year. Yes, yeah. So we talk about Shell as an oil company, but you're very close to becoming a predominantly natural gas company, aren't you? That's absolutely correct. Shell started quite a while back, actually, to put a lot of emphasis on gas. And by 2012, we will have more gas production worldwide than we actually have oil. We are a global leader in uh, liquefied natural gas, LNG, uh, and we are becoming very big also in this country now for, um, for gas, natural gas, either tight gas, shale gas, or you name it. So this has been a, a journey of 20, 30 years, which we have used actually our technology and innovation in order to drive the gas development on a worldwide basis, because let's face it, it has 50, 70 percent less CO2 than, than coal, for example, and that's exactly where we see the long-term benefit. And, and have you been, and have, has Shell been surprised at how much natural gas, the natural gas deposits that we've been able to find over the last few years? I think everybody was surprised in, in the U.S., and for that matter, I add Canada as well, because there's quite a bit there as well. I think that ramp up has been underestimated. Uh, but I, I think um, it's positive to see because it gives us real alternatives here. And um, we have invested, I think, since 2004, roughly $15 billion in natural gas in the U.S. alone. And uh, I think that's, and we will actually spend much more over the next 10 years. It will be one of our major growth portfolios which we will develop. So surprised on the one side, but we prepared it since 2002. And, and in your view, is that the big answer to our environmental problems for the next 50 yeah. plus years? I don't think there is one answer. Uh, 